Hey everyone, in this video for Falcon BMS 4.34, I will cover the steps to drop four JDAMs on four separate targets in one pass using the targeting pod. This process can also be used for the JSAOs. Typically, JDAMs and JSAOs are employed in a pre plan mode with coordinates entered into the box before departure or even en route with coordinates received from a JTAC, Joint Terminal Attack Controller. There may be situations where mobile targets have moved since departure or your entire mission has changed, and assuming you have a targeting pod, you can identify targets and establish new coordinates by using mark points. This procedure is also used by the A10C Warthog and is also known as Target of Opportunity TOO mode in the FA-18 Hornet. We are currently over in northeastern Saudi Arabia en route to a target area which happens to be an enemy airfield. We will be expecting multiple ground targets comprised of tanks, APCs, and trucks. First, let's ensure the autopilot is on to reduce your workload. On the ICP, press air to ground mode. On the right MFD, select the SMS page. Press the OSB next to power off to on to begin JDAM alignment. This process takes up to three minutes. On the control page, adjust the settings as desired. For the purposes of this video, I will keep default settings. Verify PRE is set at OSB2. On the left MFD, press TGP, then press standby, then air to ground. The camera is looking at the current steer point, which happens to be steer point number five and is the target area. Currently, the visibility is low, so we cannot see anything yet. Adjust visuals such as white hot, black hot, and TV as needed. Change the field of view from wide to narrow and use the zoom function to get a more accurate picture of the target area. Once we have at least four identifiable targets in sight, move the targeting pod crosshairs near or at the first target and press TMS up to ground stabilize the camera. On the ICP press mark, number seven, your DED will switch to mark point mode. It should have TGP with asterisks on both sides. Five mark points are allocated for use, starting at mark point 26, up to and including 30. Currently, the lat long coordinates are zero because nothing has been established yet. Let's designate the first target by pressing TMS up. The marked coordinates on the DED will display along with the elevation. This is mark point 26, your first created mark point. We will make this our new active steer point by pressing MSEL on the ICP. The targeting pod will momentarily lose lock of the first target. Press cursor 0 CZ and the targeting pod will revert back to mark point 26. Next, press TMS down to undesignate. Press TMS up to designate the second target and create mark point 27. Your DED will update accordingly with the lat long and elevation. Press DMS down to undesignate. Select your third target and press TMS up. Mark point 28 is created. Press TMS down to undesignate. Select your fourth target and press TMS up. Mark point 29 is created your fourth and final mark point. Press TMS down to undesignate, then press cursor zero, CZ. This is very important. Your targeting pod should automatically slew back to your first mark point, 26, because this is your active steer point that we created earlier. You have created four mark points that we will use to ripple four JDAMs. On the ICP, select the Dauber to RTN, and the DED should indicate steer point 26, which, as previously mentioned, is the active steer point. We can cycle through each mark point to verify each point has a valid and separate target with aid from the targeting pod. After verifying all mark points are valid, cycle back to mark point 26. Perform your fence in checks, including master arm, and verify the JDAMs are fully aligned. Once we are within the JDAM launch zone LAR1, as indicated on the right side of the HUD next to the altimeter, 
ripple the first JDAM by pressing and holding the weapon release button for at least 1.6 seconds. Select the next steer point. Again, press and hold the weapon release button until the JDAM is released. Next steer point, release. Next and final steer point, 29. Release. You have just rippled four JDAMs to four separate targets. Adjust your targeting pod to watch the bombs fall to their respective targets and or go to the bomb view, Shift F7. I hope this video helps the new pilots flying Falcon BMS, and perhaps this is a refresher for the veterans. Thanks for watching. See ya.